So I'm in so like a, like the war time that I work for every sub subject. If for, for example, I'm trying to I'm trying to board then it talks about sciences, like in Katong like cycle the butterfly, then another board they math, diba? Mm -mm. So we have we've been exposed to these kinds of um walls or word activity from our teacher just for us to remember the concepts. Now in your activity also in your classroom later on you can also have this um this time to really explore them with words. <clears throat> Going back to what I've mentioned, if you'll be a student teacher in the grade school department, you'll have a, a test of patience because they would assign you, for example, last year, someone asked me, Miss, unsa unsa mo ako i decorate sa bulletin board? Hey, mura na siya task ni teacher ni mo sa imong cooperating teacher. You will decorate the bulletin board according to the celebration of the month. And Timingan man to sila nga, it was science week, so they need to really beautify their bulletin board. Kay competition man siya among the different grade school level. And then when Christmas came, they also had a contest on the best bulletin board. Yeah, Luwi lang si student teacher, kamo in the future, because you will be, you'll do all the hard work in decorating. So good thing if duha mo ma assign in a particular classroom, but if isa lang ka, isa lang ka sa grade one. Ikay bahala ana imong bulletin board. Ya yeah, magwait ra si teacher, si cooperating teacher. Wala na siya in the end. Wow, nice kayo teach. Oh, ya. Yeah. Makadaog da yon ka, malipay din siya nimo. So, mo na siya ang challenge sa inyo ha. So, mag-start na mo creating your own concepts for a nice bulletin board because that's one of the challenge and of course, Ma'am Leia is very proud because the Cooperating teacher and the student teacher are really creative in creating their bulletin board. Mo na ma excited gin asila whenever there are student teachers already in the grade school department. And how much more if you would be in the public school? So ang sa public school malipay sa dun sila na student teacher sa USJ ar ganuman mas save ang ilahang mga materials. And last time ang aten ni Irish. Ay, ate ni Irish, ang ni Maria, tabasa. Nindot man kayo siyang mga materials, kay ipang laminate, kayang mga lessons, kay iyang mga ipang laminate. Of course, si teacher there sa preschool, teach, ako na lang na imuhang ko anbit, mga material. So, we donated, they donated it to the to the school itself. So, in the future, murag magkailangan dyan mo mag-save o a lot of money for your instructional materials because sometimes dili man sad mo shell out ang teacher especially from the public school they would consider it na kanang part sa inyo hang practicum life diba excited na mo mag practicum guys okay happy na yeah. next year na diba and today just today it's the first day of online practicum of our Fourth year, they they've been chatting me this morning. Sayo guys, sila nagjoin sa flag ceremony. They join um the prayers of the children. But then muna na sila student. Kaya muna sila ni join in sa class. Unlike before that, they can really interact. mga sabak sila, mga makorek sila si mga child. Will help sila this time. Muna na sila student sa ni join na sila sa class because um there are teachers who are also cautious in. What if unsay lang i teach ba online? So mo na mo na sila observer this time. Sayang lagi kay it could have really developed them ba physically and holistically as a teacher. Kay time bi ajud ni nga sila na jud fourth year ang mo shine. So hopefully kamo jud in the future no mag pray ta nga wala na ning COVID. Cuz next year we should really be physically with the children, especially for special education, early childhood and um, for elementary. Now, we also use social media. Since we are online, this is very relevant. Instead of allowing the science classroom to just stay in the classroom, we allow other online tools. We have Twitter, we have Facebook to do a lot of projects that we can research on. And we have a lot of um, images. So we use social media as a platform for us to associate things, just like what we have in here. We can research on infographics with the different symbols and social media also help in gathering data. And aside from that, the science can also 
um, can we can also venture with the other groups that we can uh, also learn from them like during summertime i created in my developmental child and developmental adolescents we tap a group in in mexico where the teacher was also um, 